Hey everybody, how you doing? Back in Wisconsin, another beautiful day. Gave you a little bit of a view here at a lake this morning, so thought we'd go go through our reflection on our gospel reading today, which is uh, the path, a uh, little re redo of the pathways that we heard about uh, two weeks ago in our gospels. So um, we're going to do our little introduction, and then we will be back in a moment. <laughs> Everyone doing pretty good today. Hope everything is well with you. I uh, thought we'd go ahead and actually do the reading today because I think it takes a little bit of uh, effort to read through this. So, um, and try to get an idea of what exactly they're trying to say. So, anyway, uh, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. The evil one comes and steals it away. What was sown in his heart, the seed sown on rocky ground, is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and he lasts for only a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among the thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred, sixty, or thirty-fold. The Gospel of the Lord. So, I think today, you know, we tend to try to pigeonhole ourselves and say, okay, we're uh, on this... We're, we're doing everything perfectly. We're on that good fruit and a good field. Well, I don't know that we can say that all together because, quite honestly, when I look at the catechism, there's 22, 2300 paragraphs, thousands of pages, thousands of pages going into detail, all the little things that uh, we think about when we uh, call ourselves a Christian. And, you know, there's all that work. There's not a, there's a, not a whole lot of it that we are 100% on board with. You know, we may have problems with certain parts of the catechism. We may think about them. We may disagree with them. Well, if we disagree with them, we're probably on that pathway, on that particular thing, if we're fighting against it. If we're on the thorny type ground, you know, the, all of a sudden Satan's there to sit there and say, ah, don't, don't worry about that particular part of being Christian. Just go ahead and forget about that. Yeah, that that's sort of where we have to keep looking at. And I think we have to understand as human beings that throughout all of the catechism, throughout all of our lives, there are certain things we're real good at, certain things we're not real good at. And I think to make that understanding that we do have some improvement we have to make with some stuff, that's important. And if we pull out from today that, okay, here are the things that I am on the good ground with, the good soil, but here's some stuff that I'm on a pathway or thorny soil, you know, rocky soil, etc. Here we go. We can make these things. I don't really agree with the church on this particular aspect. Well, Jesus uh, got this information from Jesus. It didn't just make it up on their own. It all came from the Bible, came from Jesus, came from everything that uh, Jesus taught. So we, at the end of the time, we do have to bring ourselves into the fullness of understanding of all of these uh, various uh, things. So while we're thinking about uh, this and working our way through it, we should be reading the catechism, we should be reading the gospels, we should see you know, what the church fathers said, what all the current uh, uh, people said. There's a lot of information out there today that we can bring ourselves to understand why Jesus would say this, that, or the other thing. You know, we may not agree with it, but Jesus said it's right. So call ourselves Christians. We have to follow Christ. So anyway, that's one of the biggest things we've got uh, to understand uh, out of today's reading. We're not just on one particular plane with everything in our lives. We are 
all over the place and we need to get ourselves on that full rich soil with Jesus in our heart in our life and that's sort of what our first reading today was getting at is just you know we're going to have things but here's a guide to get us uh, to where we need to be we're going to have those shepherds that are going to bring us along that say hey take this uh, information I'm giving to you mull it over in your brain see that what the gospel is saying is true 100% true don't fight it because you're fighting against God. So we found out yesterday with the story of the crossing of the Red Sea, fighting against God is not the best option. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Enjoy this beautiful outing here. I'm enjoying it uh, completely. So you take care of yourself. Be good. Play nice. Thank God.